welcome to make your own happy chef pizza. It's gonna make you very happy in the tummy. Before you make the pizza, make sure you have plenty of counter space. Good. Now open your happy chef pizza kit. Use the flour and the water to make the pizza dough. <laughs> Next, to make your dough rise, open the yeast and add half of its contents to the dough. Make sure you don't use more than half. Of pizza crust. For a perfect shape and thickness, carefully lift the dough with both hands and give it a good spin as you toss it in the air. of your happy chef pizza. For a zesty homemade sauce, chop a clove of garlic and add an onion into a skillet. <laughs> now, get ready for one of the happiest dining experiences of your life. <laughs> when things start to sizzle, add a tomato. The happy chef has provided you with one, but to be sure it's right, hold it up to eye level and a squeeze. Gently. A fresh ripe tomato is firm and has a summer spring to it. into your frying pan to capture its flame. Putting a sauce on a pizza is an art form all its own. Some pizza chefs use a butter knife. Others prefer the bottom of a soup ladle. As with any art, each artist must find what works the best. The trick is to spread it not too thin, but not too thick, and even all around. A time to top off your masterpiece with the topics. Cheese, mushrooms, sausage. And whatever else you like. Now, put your pie in the oven, set your timer, and get ready to enjoy. Chef right now is if you forgot to turn on the oven. <laughs> but the happy chefs have got just the thing for you. How's that for convenience?
pizza maker? There's only one thing left to do to make your pizza experience complete. Clean up. <laughs> Seriously, now. Clean up! Earth. Millions of years ago, primordial ooze gives way to primitive creature. Life is a daily struggle to survive. Everywhere, plant life and creatures alike evolve. Behold, primitive man, destined to rule the earth. Ah, primitive panther, destined for coolness. <laughs> the food chain, a constant battle of man over his environment. <laughs> food is where you find it. <laughs> Once he's found food, man's quest is to get it back to his cave. <laughs> Behold, man, periodically clever. Ah, primitive panther, always clever. Behold, the wheel. Looks like panther has found a way to get his food home. Well, what do you know? The wheelbarrow has been invented. Looks like Primitive Panther has invented the first powered cart. It's just like man to make things bigger. Not necessarily better. Ancient Earth provides primitive man with all the food he can eat. As long as he's smart enough to catch it. In time, prehistoric man became a great fisherman. What's this? Primitive Panther is learning how to use tools. of compassion. As usual, primitive man is not to be outdone. Behold, the, um, I don't even know what that is. It worked? I mean, it worked! The bigger the fish... The bigger the fight. Behold! The one that got away! Given the size of primitive man's brain, it will still be thousands of years before he discovers art. Well, let's have a look.
What's this? Ah, clearly a higher form of art. Primitive creatures simply had to deal with their harsh environments. A nice cold drink would certainly hit the spot right about now. Looks like other primitive creatures have learned the art of using tools. The quest for food is also the quest for drink. There, isn't that refreshing? All you need now is to get more. Yes, primitive man. Ever so primitive. Let's see how Panther is doing. Ah! Brilliant! The discovery of flight! All you have is a bone. Behold! Industrial espionage! Well, let's see it work. Looks safe enough. Boom. Bravo! Man has bested flight! <laughs> Primitive man will rule the earth. Or maybe not. Even the food chain has a weakest link. <laughs> Using your head? Primitive Panther will survive the Stone Age. I'm not so sure about Primitive Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. 